going everybody coming to you today on the TW 200 because we're going to be doing a uh, white test on the Bradley Performance Products fat tire kit on the TW. If you want to see the install and all of that, uh, I've got that video that's a separate video. You can find it listed on my channel. This is just going to kind of be uh, my first off-road-ish experience with it. Uh, we've had a lot of rain in the past 24 hours. So the trails are wet and muddy and uh, ought to be kind of a good test for it. I'm not going to be doing anything super crazy today uh, just because I am kind of limited on time and everything. But I figure I'll be able to throw together a, uh, a good video for you guys so you can see uh, how the tire works. Hopefully it will perform as well as it's supposed to. Um, we'll see. I'm currently running six and a half pounds of air in the tire. Uh, when I talked to Brad at Bradley Performance, he told me anywhere from like five to seven is about what they average on theirs. Uh, you can't always adjust as needed. Uh, when I received the tire, that was just how much was in it, it was six and a half, so I just left six and a half in it. We're going to be uh, going up into the National Forest, hitting a couple of little trails. Um, it's stuff I've done before with the original tire. Didn't really have any problems with the original, so I doubt I have any problems with this. But this is just kind of a, a first look, first feel. How does the tire do? And uh, we'll go from there and see. So. On dirt, just on like this hard pack. Feels great, feels fine. Uh, no different than the factory tire. I don't feel like I'm being held back any. I don't feel like I've lost any speed or any maneuverability so feels pretty good so far after uh, my last ride I ended up kind of bruising my leg pretty good I've been wearing the three-quarter length boots and kind of bruised my leg pretty good. So I'm wearing my full length motocross, whatever boots. And uh, boy, is it different to try to push on the, uh, the brake and change gears. I haven't worn them in so long, I forgot how stiff these things are. I forgot how incredibly not waterproof these boots are. Just that light amount of splash right there and I can feel water getting into them. Alright, here we are on our first little uh, trail. Okay, so here's the uh, first little part of the trail. Again, it's nothing really crazy today, uh, just kind of testing it out on a little bit of mix of rocks and mud. I like this little trail because 
it's short and sweet but it's got a little bit of everything on it you got a little bit of mud you got a little bit of rock you got a little bit of hill a little bit of water it's fun to ride nothing you know too challenging but still enough to get you good and warmed up Oh, neutral. There we go. mentioned to uh, Brad that I was running the Shinko 241 on the front and he said uh, he would recommend something more aggressive he said you'll find that uh, you have a lot more traction in the rear and a lot less traction in the front and uh, he recommended something a little bit more aggressive well I take that back he recommended something a lot more aggressive uh, says he runs like motocross rear tires in the front he said about as nasty as he can get is what he wants so uh, I haven't noticed anything yet but like I said I'm not on anything crazy tough uh, just some wet mud rocks a little bit of hill climb. I'm dropping now. I got a hill climb here in a minute. So, so far, uh, everything's been fine. Not really a lot to talk about when it comes to the tire because it's just been solid so far. Factory gearing on the TW is a 50 in the rear and Bradley Performance they sell up to a 70 for the rear so that would be an extreme extreme rock crawling difference uh, you would lose a ton of your top end but you would gain so much low end it would be crazy. I don't know if I want to ever go that low because of the fact that I do like kind of riding this around town and stuff as well. But that is something that they offer if you were to want to try to get the most bite absolutely possible out of these tires. Uh, gearing would probably be the next thing to get. Here's our little hill climb. A little rocky with some washouts. Some tree roots. Tractor and rod up like nothing. I can feel a lot more bite in the back. It's trying to like raise up the front tire. It's grabbing so much more than usual. Yeah, 
super easy coming up that even trying to put myself a little bit offline and gripping the side there all right not too shabby at all on its first hill climb at times i can feel the front end being pushed around a little bit so maybe a more aggressive tire in the front will be necessary uh, i haven't really pushed the bike super hard to find out but i can kind of feel some slight pushing i can also feel that when going uphill i'm getting a lot more traction and that's kind of raising the front end not like enough to do like a wheelie or go crazy and flip over backwards but i can feel it lifting more than usual more than it has in the past i put this uh tire on at roughly 3180 miles ah, dang it i do that every time i make it over okay and then i stall on the backhand side and almost go over the handlebars so anyway back to what i was talking about uh, 3,180 miles will be really close to start as a mileage count for the tire to see how long it lasts. Um, Bradley Performance was saying that they get a ton of miles out of these tires. Um, I don't remember the exact number, but I want to say it was several thousand miles. Um, don't hold me to that because I'm going off of memory but that would be cool I mean you know we'll have to just uh, ride the bike and see see how many we end up with but so far uh, so far off-road I'm liking the tire I mean I haven't haven't encountered any problems yet I haven't noticed any uh, loss in acceleration or loss of power I mean it might be some there but my butt dyno can't feel it so uh, I don't know the weight difference between this tire and rim and hub versus the factory uh, but I my, my butt dyno I can't feel anything different yet I figured this would have had some water in it. That was a skid plate. Ugh. Okay, front tire does not want to go over that rock. We'll go go this way then. Should have a climb coming up again with some rocks, loose mud, some tree roots, all the good stuff you get in Arkansas off road. Shoot, this has climbed better than it ever has before. I mean, this isn't a real bad climb. I've been on worse, but uh, this one did just fine. Shoot. Oh yeah. 
I've done this with the uh, factory tire before when it's been damp and uh, it did not go that smoothly. I mean, I know I had a little bump and I killed it once, but oh, got a tree limb. But still, that was uh, way easier than with the factory tire. Okay, uh, after a few miles off-road, uh, first thought, it's got good bite to it. I can feel a difference. I can feel it trying to lift up the front end more than the factory tire did. Not enough to be uncontrollable, but enough I can feel it. I can feel it trying to push the Shinko 241 around, so I will probably eventually have to get something more aggressive, but that is such a new tire, I just can't, I can't justify getting rid of it right now, or swapping it out or anything like that. Uh, as you can see, I didn't put the chain guard back on because I haven't cut the chain guard, I haven't decided if I'm going to cut it or just leave it off. Install, if you watched my install video, it took about an hour. A uh, little over that, but that was including time to film. I uh, I like it. It looks good. It rides good. It op opens up a ton of other tire options. You don't have to go with this particular one. Uh, Bradley Performance does sell it, but you don't have to go with it. First thoughts on it is it's awesome. I'm going to need more time, of course. I'm going to need more trails. But I just, I don't want this video to be super long to give you my first impressions of it off-road. I, I could, I could go 200 miles today and have a two hour long video to talk about this, but you guys wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't watch it. No one wants to watch that for two hours. So anyway, the Bradley Performance uh, Fat Tire Kit for the TW200. First impressions, build quality is good, ingenuity is great ease of install is I would say one out of five if one's a beginner and five is somebody who has a machine shop you're at a 1.5 you need to know what wrenches are and you need to do a little bit of troubleshooting here and there but uh, super easy to do um, yeah I'm gonna keep riding and keep putting miles on it and I'll come back and let you guys know if I encounter any problems or if I decide I don't like it but as of right now uh, first impressions of off-road riding with the fat tire kit from Bradley Performance is two thumbs up it's uh it's awesome so far so thank you guys for watching as always like share subscribe all that good stuff go check out Bradley Performance I'll have a link in the description uh, they sell more than just this fat tire kit, so go check them out. If you got any motorcycle needs for the T-Dub, they might be able to hook you up. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time.